video tutorial is a step-by-step -step walkthrough of some typical question styles that you'll be encountering while taking a logical reasoning style psychometric test. Our goal with these logical reasoning tests is to assess one's logical and problem-solving abilities. They typically ask for use of one's inductive and deductive reasoning skills. We are given nine boxes, each containing an abstract visual, which together, typically by rows or columns, make patterns of variations that we can induce. One box, in this case the one in the top right, is unknown. Once we have established a pattern, we can find the answer, which will be one of the 12 answer options given. We can first notice that each visual seems to have two components. The arrows, with their various directions and placements, and the cross of squares in the middle, of which one is shaded. Let's start with the cross of squares in the top left box. The noticeable feature of these squares is that one is shaded, in this case the bottom square. The box below has the same square shaded, and the box below that has its top square shaded. No immediate pattern, let's keep looking. The top middle box, top square shaded, middle box, right square shaded, and bottom middle box, left square shaded. Again, no immediate pattern with the boxes themselves, and yet, upon closer inspection, we can see that the arrows seem to be mirroring the placement of the shaded squares with their direction. In other words, which direction the arrow points is where the shaded square will be in that box. However, there's another element we need to consider. The arrows are moving corners each box. If we look from the top left box downwards, we can see that the arrow moves from the top left, top right, to bottom right, in other words, moving clockwise every box going down. If we look from the bottom left box rightwards, we can see that the arrow moves from the bottom right, top right, to top left, moving anti-clockwise every box going right. These patterns should now allow us to discover our answer. Going from left to right, or bottom to top, our arrow should be placed in the bottom right corner. Given that the direction of the arrows and shaded squares appear to not have a pattern, all we need from them is that they are both going in the same direction. Let's look at our answer options. We can see only four boxes have the arrow in the bottom right corner, and only one of them adheres to the same direction pattern, this one here, box B. Therefore, this is the correct answer. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. We hope it's been helpful. Best of luck with your test practicing here at Assessment Day.